All right, well, I'm back out here. Uh, you might think it's kind of boring that I keep coming to the same place, but it's because I know there's fish here and I know I can catch them easily. So I figured this would be a good place to test out something that I've had for a long time, but I've never used. Uh, one of the first few videos I actually did when I started fishing here on YouTube, uh, I made a lure using, you know, stuff I found around the around my apartment. Uh, and if you remember it, it was, I tied it on here. It's just a soda tab that I twisted to give it some spin, uh, some yellow twine or green twine, a blue thread tied around on a hook. Uh, I did make another modification to it that uh, wasn't in that video. I put a swivel on it and uh, crimped on a, a split shot weight just to give it a little more, you know, give it some more uh, quicker sinking action because it, it pretty much floated before when I tested it, but never have really used it. So I'm going to give it a shout out here. Uh, I wish I had a, I didn't bring my underwater gear, so I'd show you the kind of movement that it gets, but uh, it, it kind of flutters a little bit. And then with that weight, it jumps up off the bottom and the tail floats. So, so it looks like it's got some good swimming motion. It kind of rocks back and forth when you give it a quicker retrieve. Got him that time. <laughs> it's just a little one, but I got him. No, it's a sunfish. <laughs> uh. Man. <laughs> That's why I wasn't able to set the hook on him over there. Just a little sunfish. Now I can move on. This lure really is more of a fly than... I, I tried to design it to be like a finesse lure, but it's more like a fly, especially the way I tied it. It's more like a fly, but it's all right. I did add some weight to it, so you can get a little bit of distance on it. That's a fish. <laughs> didn't even know I had him, so I didn't try to set the hook. I just reeled him in. It's another sunfish hooked through the gill. Look at that. Through the edge of the gill. He should be fine, though. They're just swiping at it, I guess. I think I can make it across right here in a single jump. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna try. Nope. Did not make that at all. <laughs> I was about three inches too short. And now I'm soaking wet. <sighs> Got one following it. Oh, he took it. But I didn't, I think I spooked him right now. He didn't get the hook. He grabbed the, the the can tab that's on it instead of the hook. Ah, there's a problem. Can tab kind of moves, so the hook goes ends up flat with it. That's a design flaw. Let me try Ugh, swim dinger real quick. Comparison here. See if I, I catch anything on the swim dinger. Got him that time. <laughs> that one's actually a bass instead of just a sunfish. This one is a spotted bass, which is weird because all the other ones I've caught here were largemouth. Gotta have a lot of, you gotta have your line, tension in your line to hook those sunfish. If there's any slack, they get off. Got one that time. Another sunfish. That's what I was talking about, how you need uh, tension in your line. And every single one, every single sunfish I've landed today has been hooked from the outside of the mouth. So.
Now I'm gonna give this uh, this one another chance. I just can't get the kind of distance I want on it. Oh! It's getting some attention, but I, I think I know a problem with it. Let me see if I can fix that. It should be a simple fix. The hook is down. I'm going to set it so the hook is up. Okay, it should still work the same way, but it's going to have a little bit different movement to it. I think I'll have better luck with it like this. I also won't get snagged quite as much because they're going down from it from the top, coming down on it. And when they do that, they're grabbing the soda tab and the hook is under the tab. So this way the tab is up above the hook, or above the, the tab. So if they do it on this one, I should be able to get it. Although I don't see any movement now. I'm not sure if they're still here. I'm just kind of running it across the bottom the way you would with a craw or a jig or something. At least I was getting some bites on it, so theoretically it works. Just not able to land anything on it. And since I, I switched it up like this, the hook is staying up. It's not flattening out against the tab like it was. So The biggest problem with uh, having a, the tab side down and the hook side up now is it doesn't have the same visuals. It doesn't reflect as much light. They're following it, but nothing's biting. Come on. Following it. Not touching it. I would say this lure is a failure because I've gotten a couple of bites on it but right now I'm dangling it dangling it right in front of fish and they they just look at it and then swim away Got one there. It works. Finally got one. It's a little sun, it's a sunfish, not a bad sunfish, but it took forever. There we go. Finally works, but these damn sunfish will eat anything, so I want to catch a bass on it. So yeah, I mean, it, it was successful. I caught a fish on it, but... Oh, wait, wait there's another one. Uh, two fish on it now. But both of them have been these green sunfish. And these things will eat everything. I don't know what the hell that noise is. But these, these fish will literally eat anything. You can catch these on a bear hook with no bait. I've done it before. Oh. Huh. There we go. Another fish. I'd really like to get a bass, but... Oh, there's a... Oh, I spooked him with that release. There's a nice bass right out in front of me. 